Let's say you've already decided to sell on Amazon. You already chose a selling plan, considered your selling strategy, and created your seller account on Seller Central. But by the time of adding your products, you realize that there's something missing. Exactly! Your product doesn't have a GTIN. But before I get too technical, let me introduce myself. Welcome to AMZ's video channel. I am Catalina Natasha, and in this episode, I'll be talking about what is a GTIN exemption and how you can apply for it. According to Google Merchant Center Health, a GTIN is a unique and internationally recognized identifier for a product. They can vary in length depending on the type of product and where the product will be sold. GTIN stands for Global Trade Identification Number, also known as Product ID. And in this case, it's a unique number given to every product sold on Amazon. It is not to be confused with a barcode, by the way. GTIN are the numbers you see in the identification number, and barcodes are the lines and spaces that are to be read when a scanner detects them. There are different types of GTINs, and as you can see, they vary depending on the marketplace or products. You have UPC, EAN, JAN, ISBN, and ITF14, GTIN14 and they are classified by region. UPC in North America, GTIN 12, is a 12-digit number. 8-digit UPC E codes should be converted to 12-digit UPC codes. UPC barcodes are used in simple and retail store products, which do not require complex information encoding. UPC A and UPC E barcodes can be generated by barcode generators, such as Byte Scout barcode and SDK and read by barcode. EAN in Europe, GTIN 13, is a 13-digit number. JAN in Japan, EAN 13, is an 8 or 13-digit number. ISBN is for books and is a 13-digit number. ISBN 10 values should be converted to ISBN 13 because ISBNs were 10 digits long. On January 1, 2007, the ISBN system switched to a 13-digit format. ITF 14 for multipacks, GTIN 14 is a 14-digit number. The ITF 14 barcode is used to mark cartons, cases, or pallets that contain products marked with UPC or EAN identification numbers. ITF 14 barcodes encode GTIN 14 information. A GTIN 14 barcode is used when a cart contains the same items. Does every single product need a UPC or GTIN in order to be sold? Nope. And this is where the exemption comes in. Just a quick note. This doesn't apply to every product. It depends on the type of brand and product you're selling. When can you apply for a GTIN exemption? When you want to sell products. When a GTIN is not provided by the brand, manufacturer, or publisher. When you are the manufacturer, brand, or publisher and want to sell but have no barcodes. When you want to sell product parts that have no GTIN, like car parts or accessories for a product. When you want to sell more than one product in a bundled pack. To all this, how exactly do you request a GTIN exemption? The first step is to log into Amazon Seller Central and using the search function, type out apply for GTIN exemption. You will choose your product category and then add the brand and publisher. Then click on check for eligibility. If the brand name is eligible for an Amazon GTIN exemption, there will be a green check mark under status. After this, you will need to show proof that this product doesn't have a UPC or GTIN by answering a couple of questions after clicking the continue to submit proof button. After answering hopefully no to those questions, you will enter in the product name and two images at least of it and its packaging. The last step will be clicking on the submit request button. It might take up from a couple of hours to 48 hours tops to get a response from Amazon. But the good thing is that you will see the status of your request in your case log. When you apply for a GTIN exemption, you are required to have a Global Standards 1 registered barcode. So now, 
If you have an affiliated UPC code, an Amazon barcode, or an FNSKU Fulfillment Network Stock Keeping Unit, then you are ready to send your package through FBA. By the way, if you need help getting a UPC code, simply purchase it through GS1. You can also access Seller Central and learn the UPC exemptions to understand better which categories don't need a product ID to be listed. In order to have your exemption granted, you must meet certain qualifications. First, you need to check if your product exists in the Amazon catalog. It doesn't matter if there are two same products being sold. If it doesn't exist or doesn't have a barcode, then you apply for an exemption. Only after you apply for an exemption can your product be added in the product listings. If you are a brand owner, manufacturer, or publisher, you will need name of the product, two to nine images of the product against a white background, the specified shot pictured at two different angles and including the packaging. You see, this was pretty easy to understand, right? If you have any more questions about specifics of GTI and codes, please don't hesitate to write in the comment section and visit our article about this exact service. This was a quick but fruitful episode. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Bye.